me watching TV and eating popcorn. Oh, it's a healthy snack, is popcorn. Low in fat, full of roughage, and it is delicious. Funny name, though. Popcorn. Pop. Corn. I suppose the corn does pop. But what makes popcorn pop? The machine. Fire. The popcorn pops because of the white stuff inside. You just put it in the microwave. Being so hot, the machine goes pop, pop, pop. Popcorn pops in a pop. And when you cook it, the heat. A popcorn machine. The heat makes them explode. It's when the machine heats up. The heat. If you look closely at this popcorn, you'll see that it seems to have turned itself inside out. So maybe there's something inside the popcorn that makes it pop. Why don't we make some more and see if we can find out? One cob of standard fresh corn. What did the baby corn say to the mama corn? Where's popcorn? <laughs> Is a cob of popping corn. Ugh. Small. Hard. Yuck! This stuff is definitely for popping only. Susie M came at popping good popcorn. Oh, this is the nursery with all the baby plants. Aren't they adorable? So green and fresh. So well behaved too. Standing straight up. The grown-up plants are here, ready for harvesting. And Susie Amcam is here to capture it on film. This huge machine does it. Look out, corn. It's a cotton-picking corn picker. And it cuts the corn from the stalks and throws these husks away, because they're not for popping. The popping corn pops onto the conveyor belt for a short trip to the shelling machine that chews the kernels from the husks. And it spits them out the other end. And guess what we've got? Yes, you've seen it on Susie Am Cam. Poppin' good popcorn, ready for poppin'. Each kernel of corn is covered with a hard, starchy layer. It's called pericarp. And it's a bit like the enamel on your teeth. It's very, very hard. See? Hard as teeth. <laughs> These kernels look a bit like teeth. But we need to get inside the corn kernel to see what makes it pop. Ah, oh, that's right, it's too hard. I'll try cutting it. Oh, the stuff is harder than I thought. I know. Step back. This could be dangerous. And don't try this at home. Leave it to the professionals. Let's have a look inside the corn kernels and see if we can see anything that would make it pop. Well, we can't see much with the naked eye, but there's starch, fibre, nutrients, vitamins and moisture, water. Let's make popcorn. Oil. Popping corn.
Nothing's happening. Let me consult the instructions. Oil. Yep. Popcorn. Yep. Heat. Ah. Look at the steam on the lid. The popcorn's heating up. Let's see that again. OK, so what's happening now? Well, the popcorn's getting hotter. So then the moisture inside the popcorn must be getting hotter, and that would make steam. And look, out it's come and the popcorn's popped. Ah, steam must make the popcorn pop. This is a pop-pop boat. Why pop-pop? Well, wait, wait, and you'll find out. Here's the moisture, or water, going in. Remember, it was the moisture inside the popcorn being heated into steam which made the pop. Well, here comes the heat for this pop-pop boat. And you'll need to get an adult to help you, because I'm going to light a match and light a candle. This candle will heat the water in the pipes. The water will turn into steam and the steam will escape from the pipes with a pop. Listen. Sound familiar? The steam is released and pops just like from inside popcorn. These guys are so excited, they're off to a pop concert. I hope that joke wasn't too corny. <laughs> hey, what other foods do you eat that have been popped like popcorn? Or maybe you could make some popcorn of your own. Get an adult to help you with the heating. And don't forget to clean up the mess afterwards. You know your folks will love that. If you've got any questions you like answered, head to my website. I'm at www.suzy.co.nz. Send me an email and we can investigate it together. Or don't forget to head to your local library too. They've got lots of information there. Like, did you know popcorn has an ingredient that's used in dynamite? Anyway, it's time for me to pop off. I'll see you again soon. Let's make some more, see if we can find out. Thanks for paying your broadcasting fee.